Okay, let's do servo, Maker 100 course. We're going to do a servo. And if we, uh, by now you know how to install these things. I'm just copying them from the website. Um, put it in there. Read the little blurb. And here we have the portenta. And a battery, the battery ground is going to the servo. Here's the servo uh, brown wire. So there's the ground from the battery. The battery's connected. This is six volts because this is a six volt servo. Uh, positive is going to the red wire. And the controlling orange wire is going to go to D5. I'm actually looking at the portenta in the proper orientation, D5 should be right there. Now then, notice we have a loop of electrical current from the large battery to the uh, servo, by the way. You're going to break the portenta if you expect to run it uh, off the portenta's uh, 5 volt. Um, but we don't have a complete circle going through the portenta. So what you need is ground from the, the battery. Ground is negative into the one, two, three, fourth spot. Okay, now you're ready to fire this up. Uh, push the button twice. Uh, double check that first of all, you're on the Portenta M7 core. Second, you're uh, in the right port. Uh, fire that off, I don't need to save it. And what's happening here, um, you don't need to include Arduino, but you do need to include Servo. And then this is um, a variable, which I'm calling my Servo 05 because it's connected to D5. Pin mode, LED built-in is output. I, I guess it goes high when, or it turns on when the servos are moving. Uh, and then we attach 05 to 5. That could say D5. Either one probably works. Uh, then our main loop, we turn the LED on. We set the servo to 20 degrees and then wait two seconds. Then we set it to 160 degrees. By the way, most servos have a range from 0 to 180. I like to back it off a little bit just to test because some of them are kind of silly around the two or three degrees. So if I test 20 and 160, you can change it to zero and 180 later and make sure it works. Wait two seconds, then do 90 degrees, wait two seconds, then do a loop. And this is the first time we've seen a loop um, as loops going from 20 uh, up to 160, we're adding to the loop and we're delaying 25 milliseconds so it's basically going exactly what we did here but now in in little bits and pieces and then we set the led off strangely on the pretend to high is off and wait five whole seconds and do it all again if your connections are incorrect the light is the led is going to go on wait a little bit then go off for five seconds basically meaning you've screwed up somehow um i'm just going to pause briefly Okay, here it's firing to, it's flashing to the portenta. Lights will flash rapidly. And then there we go. So first, there it's doing the for loop. And then it has the five second wait. Okay, so right now it's probably at 160 degrees. It's going back to 20, going to 160. I'm not sure about the little flicker there. And now it's going through all of them. Well, that's it. It's done. There's no need to use the cereal. We're over.